Moon is our nearest neighbor, even though it is around 240,000 miles, that is 385,000 kilometers away from us. It is the, the only place outside the Earth where humans have stepped foot. The Moon formed 4.51 billion years ago and around 50 million years after the birth of the solar system. How did the Moon formed? How big it is? What is the shape of Moon? How long would it take to walk around the Moon? Let's cover some interesting facts. There are various theories about how the Moon was created, but recent evidence indicates it formed when a huge collision tore a chunk of Earth away. Scientists have suggested the impactor was roughly 10% the mass of Earth, about the size of Mars. Because Earth and the Moon are so similar in composition, researchers have concluded that the impact must have occurred about 50 million years after the formation of the solar system. The Moon, with a diameter of about 2,159 miles, that is 3,475 kilometers in circumference, 6,786 mile that is 10,921 kilometers, it is bigger than Pluto. The Sun and the Moon are not the same size. From Earth, both the Sun and the Moon look about same size. This is because the Moon is 400 times smaller than the Sun, but also 400 times closer to Earth. Hmm. Interesting. To the eye, the Moon appears round, and it's natural to assume that it is actually spherical in shape, like a big ball. Actually, the shape of the Moon is that of an oblate spheroid, meaning it has the shape of a ball that is slightly flattened. The Moon exhibits very slight oblateness, but more important is the fact that the side of the Moon that faces Earth is a bit larger than the side turned away from us. This makes it slightly similar to the shape of typical bird egg that is larger on one end than on other. The Moon is drifting away from the Earth. Yes, you heard it right. The Moon is moving away from Earth at a rate of 3.8 centimeters, that is 1.5 inches per year, but the speed of its retreat has varied over time. The speed at which the Moon is moving away from Earth could affect life on the planet, but this could take billions of years to happen. Without the Moon, the Earth could slow down enough to become unstable, but this would take billions of years, and it may never happen at all. The Moon has quakes too. They're not called earthquakes but moonquakes. They are caused by the gravitational influence of the Earth. Unlike quakes on Earth, that last only a few minutes at most, moonquakes can last up to half an hour. There is water on the Moon, yes you heard it right. Water is in the form of ice trapped within dust and minerals on and under the surface. It has been detected on areas of the lunar surface that are in permanent shadow and are therefore very cold, enabling the ice to survive. The water on the Moon was likely delivered to the surface by comets. We know how big the Moon is. Can you guess how long it would take to walk around the Moon? During the Apollo missions, astronauts bounced around the surface at a casual 1.4 miles per hour, that is 2.2 kilometers per hour, according to NASA. This slow speed was mainly due to their clunky, pressurized spacesuits that were not designed with mobility in mind. If the moonwalkers had sported sleeker suits, they might have found it a lot easier to move and, as a result, picked up the pace. In 2014, a NASA study published in the Journal of Experimental Biology tested how fast humans could walk and run in simulated lunar gravity. This experiment revealed that the participants were able to walk up to 3.1 miles per hour before breaking into a run. At this new hypothetical max speed, it would take about 91 days to walk the 6,786 mile that is 10,921 kilometers circumference of the Moon. Interesting.